So, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Drink with Jeff. So, today is uh, nice weather outside, so we're gonna make some nice cocktails as well because, like, summer is probably coming inside the house, inside our gardens. So, I choose one of refreshing cocktails that we can make, it's gonna be a mojito. It's actually quite old drink with big, huge history behind it but because it's not as well as like people know what is the history behind this cocktail like very short because it's very debatable that's why this cocktail have like really old history but in all times everyone was drinking like the sailors and most of the people who was like using ships and everything they had the, the scurvy the disease and that's why they was drinking one with lime juice and sugar just to prevent it to have some vitamin C inside your blood that you wouldn't get this old disease inside so basically what is mojito? mojito is rum based cocktail with sugar, lime, mint and it was made in Havana, Cuba in but it didn't become popular straight away. Like, there was the Hemingway, he was a reporter and writer, and the first time he discovered it in the Cuba, uh, he basically, in 1930, he made it like well known in, around the world, and after it's become really popular cocktail. But before that, like, it's again, it's like really debatable, so no one really knew what it is, like, you know. You can like say, oh, it was the, the virus was drinking this, blah, blah, blah. But it's so not so reasonable because virus was drinking all the time rum with lime juice to make them healthier. And it could be like any other cocktails can go to, like, as well to this one. It can be daiquiri, it can be any other rum cocktail with lime juice. So that's why I think the Makita became popular in 1930 when it's come around the world and they started to distribute it like make it popular so let's start to make it properly so what do you need for the mojito first of all you're gonna need lime juice you can squeeze it but i prefer to muddle the limes so you're taking the limes four pieces four slices of uh, lime you muddle them inside with your muddler i have the bar spoon it's amazing so you muddle them inside you try to squeeze as much as juice you want because like after the last stage you're gonna be decoration in your drink. So you muddle them inside. Then you adding I already pre-make the the marara sugar. It's basically the brown sugar you can make it home. It's gonna be like 50 to 50 hot water. You stir it, dilute it and it's gonna be the sugar. It's easier to make it if you're gonna planning to drink one bottle, you're gonna need it. So then you're adding the mint, actually you're adding mint in the end. So lime juice is inside, tamara is inside, a bit of rum, it's gonna be like 50 ml of rum. I'm using the Bacardi's white rum. Everyone knows what is Bacardi, it's quite famous family and it's like for seven generation this family is using this this brand now is this portfolio is holding like more than two hundred different brands of rum. It's well known on the market. What else is like light white rum quite crispy nose, it's have the nose of fruits, vanilla very easy drinkable. I actually like, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of Bacardi, but I like it to have it in other cocktails as well. And this is like, you don't need to have super, super good rum. And this rum is really fitting really well with Mojito, with these flavors. So then you're taking the mint leaves around like freshly black mint. You're using like around 10 leaves. You club hand it to release the aromas around the glass. You put them inside. Then you take in the ice. So how do you make the crushed ice at home? Is there is three ways how to make it. You can you make it you may shake it inside the 
inside the shaker. It's gonna take long, it's not going to be so good quality of the ice. Then you can use the blender, and usually the blender is made with like real dust. So it's not good as well because it's just gonna be dust. They're gonna stick to your blender and you cannot use it after. So the best way is just like take a bag, put it inside the ice, the cube ice from the shop, and then just smash it with the hammer or whatever you have heavy on top, like you know. So then you put the crushed ice top, you, you stir it, make all this indigenous mix and go on top around, really make it look nice. Then you top up on top of this ice. Make it full, it's gonna be nice because like if you like to enjoy your cocktail, you're gonna have some time because like I don't like to put salt inside. If you're gonna put the salt inside, it, it's fine, it gives some bubbles, but actually before putting salt inside because I want to have it so strong and sour. But you can just avoid the soda, your crush tie is gonna melt and it's gonna be the same the same feeling inside the cocktail. But if you prefer the soda, of course you can top it up with soda. So then you put the garnish on top. As a garnish, you can use many things as you like. You can put flowers, you can eat, um, usually mint spring as well, like first you clap it a bit. You can go around to rele release aroma of mint, go around your drink, because it's still gonna stay on the glass, you're gonna fill it and then you're gonna drink it as well, if you want to make it perfect. Then about, Lime. You can make witch, you can make the lime rounds, you can make dry fruits if you want in the oven and then like make the dry fruits on top. I like to put an angustry on top for giving some colors for your cocktail. So you just put like a couple of dashes, it doesn't affect your cocktail taste but it's giving some nice colors for your cocktail so you can really like feel really great that you're drinking such amazing cocktail. <laughs> so what else? About the varieties of this cocktail. So basically there is so much it is so old cocktail and there is many different ways how to you can make it. You can make it with any flavor you want. So for example you saw my recipe. It's not my recipe, it's the basic recipe but like the way I'm making. You just adding like if you want to make it strawberry, you put in a couple of strawberries. You muddle with the limes. If you want raspberries, you put raspberries because it's now berry season. So you can blueberries. You can put light cheese inside. You can put whatever you like. Like why I have passion fruit here on display because you can before I was making this passion fruit. So I put 25 mils of passion fruit puree, or it can be like the same as the sugar syrups. You can flavor sugar syrups, coconut. You can make, then there is a different varieties of this cocktail. So you can make it with gin, you can make it like, they call it like a grid mojito, you put in your taxi inside, so base spirit, you can change as well. Then there's the raw mojito, it's like with champagne inside, instead of rum. And basically there's nothing else, and then you can top off with soda. So basically this cocktail is nice, refreshing full of uh, citrus flavors, mint. It makes really in summertime, it's just fucking super perfect. <laughs> and yeah, basically that's it about the cocktail. So guys, what can I say else? Subscribe, like, see you soon, write your comments. Don't be scared to write comments. I would more than happy to share my knowledge with someone and like give you some advice in how you make cocktails. So see you soon, bye.